Yeah, I, I, I also, I, I often um, advise people not to jump too quickly into diagnosis or solutioneering in the face of the wrongness that both of you are now talking about. Because when you jump too quickly to that, you end up defaulting to patterns of solution that are actually part of the problem. And one of them is find the bad guy, find the virus, find the one thing. I mean, this is actually what you're talking about is actually deep at the core of our entire response to the pandemic. People are getting sick, find one thing, one causal agent and exercise technologies of control to dominate and win a battle against that pathogen. The same mindset then gets applied. Oh, there's something big problem in the world. The world is sick. Who's the pathogen? Is it Bill Gates? Is it Vladimir Putin? Is it Klaus Schwab? Is it like Donald Trump? You know, you find the bad thing in the vain hope that if you could only control that bad thing, all the problems would be solved. So basically you're displacing a, a complex pathology that that is ambient outside of us and inside of us onto something external that you can go to war against. And if you do that, you will end up with permanent war because if the totality of the pathological situation is not addressed, it will generate new viruses and new viruses and new viruses and new Klaus Schwab's and new Bill Gates and new bad guys and new rogue states again and again and again as symptoms of something deeper. So yeah, like that, then this is this speaks to also what that the earlier theme of sometimes you actually do need to step back, take the time to deprogram from these default concepts to enter the space between stories, I, I like to call it, and allow in the unknowing to really let go of those things, to let go of thinking that you know, to let go of these totalizing discourses, to let go of these frameworks of understanding, just put them down and, and create an empty space, a vacuum into which something new can come. We need to do that more now than ever because it, it's becoming obvious that, I don't know, how many thousands of years has it been? We have not actually improved the human condition. So let's try something else. And maybe doing nothing at all, not as a permanent strategy, but until we have clarity about the deeper causes and what to do about them, maybe we, we do step back 